competition can be decided by the tiniest of margins, something I learned the hard way when I lost by $1 on The Price is Right. I honestly overshot it. The question was, how much does $99 cost? Elections can be just as close, which is why I met with some politicians who literally lost by a single vote. Please vote. 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 You just vote because it matters, you know? Saying that voting matters is the new gut milk commercial. Every celebrity's doing it, even the ones you thought couldn't vote here. But does like every vote matter? I spoke with Sonny Frothingham from Democracy North Carolina to see just how important each vote is. One vote can change the outcome of an election. In North Carolina, there were 31 cities where it came down to the decision of one voter. What? One vote? One vote. It feels like the only race that you should be able to win or lose by one vote is like a high school student council and not even the flashy positions like junior secretary. Right. But a couple votes doesn't just determine the theme of a school dance. In 2016, Trump won Michigan by an average of two votes in each precinct. That's two votes and we've all been living with the consequences. And just in case Michelle's necklace didn't convince you to vote, I assembled a group of people who lost tight race elections to make it even clearer that every vote matters. Welcome everyone. I've brought you all here because you all have one thing in common. You are losers, technically. You're winners to me, and you also lost. So what happened in your election? I'm Terry Baricius, and I lost an election by one vote. I'm Sarah Buxton, and I won my 2010 election by one vote, and I lost three terms later by one vote. Hi, I'm Tiffany Caban, and I lost my 2019 race by 0.06 of 1% of the vote. I'm Tanya Flanagan, and I lost my 2011 race by a card draw. What? I tied, and to break the tie, the dealer came out, fully dressed, laid out the green felt table, did some card tricks, spread them out, and I pulled the lower card. And I thought I had bad luck in Las Vegas card games. No, not like that. Okay, I need to ask this just to cover all my bases. You all remembered to vote for yourselves, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> Just yes. yes, we were not the laughing vote. <laughs> I'm not sure I believe them. Plus, this is no laughing matter because these are exactly the type of people we need in office. Your prosecutor is probably the most powerful local elected official. If they make the policy, they execute it, they can change it on day one. The consequences of a race like that is the difference between people being caged or not. The difference between criminalizing poverty, mental health, substance use. Math isn't my thing, but beep boop, beep boop. Looks like had 56 more people voted, Queens could have had a progressive DA. That's why it's time for Americans to vote as much as they do for Dancing with the Stars. When people say, my vote doesn't even matter. Like, who even cares? My vote doesn't make a difference. How do you uh, restrain yourself? But then how do you actually approach answering their question? You know, if you're not at the table, you're on the menu. If you are not voting, then your interests are not gonna be the ones that are being protected. I like to think of voting less as a one vote deciding an election and being more like a community effort. It's like we're all pushing a boulder up the hill and you can say, well, it doesn't really matter if I keep pushing because there's all these people pushing and my, my muscles aren't so strong, so I'm gonna stop. We can't just leave it to somebody else. You're gonna make me push a boulder up a hill during a <laughs> pandemic? <laughs> Jerry, have mercy. But in America, the only difference between voting and pushing a boulder up a hill is that you get a sticker. So it's natural that voters are disillusioned with the process. If you don't want to be as disillusioned, get involved in some hyper-local races. They are, they are sexy, they're addictive, you get access to the candidate, you're talking to people face to face. Wait, like, did you just say that hyper-local races are sexy? The sexiest. And probably your congressperson started on the local level. And that's the piece that's so important, that the people that you see in Washington right now, they start somewhere. So if you're not engaged in the process at the local level, that's the grooming point. And you need to pick that person early because you're going to have them later nine times out of 10. Crush them, crush them early so they don't go on and up the whole world. He asks, crush them, crush them up and down the ballot and sideways if you're into that kind of thing. Because voting got us into this, 
and voting will get us out. All right, one person at a time. One person one at a time. One person at a time. <laughs>